Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. All the way. All the way. Come on, keep going. Right. Stay. Yes. Stay. Yes. Stay. Yes. Stay. Yes. Stay. Yes. Get you for the bike too, man. I know. Do I get paid? Yes. Okay, let's go. Come on. That's how you handle situations appropriately. The other dog had a prong collar on and started reacting. I knew Ralphie might get a little uh, jumpy excited like he does. That's why I waited to reward him for his leave it till I got that quick right turn and I had that car as an environmental block. The variable is always the human, it's always. The next variable is the environment, but how the human responds to the environment, that goes back to the human. So if I don't increase my distance there, if I don't issue disengagement cues, and I stand around and he's building up the duration in close proximity to that dog, that's not good for him or the other dog. The other dog's barking, reacting, etc. Yes, pay him for that truck. Gave me a nice check-in. So remember, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what's going on. It's up to you, right? It's up to the human. How I respond, that's the biggest variable. My name is Drayton Michaels. I'm a dog trainer, behavior technician. And you can check me out on youtube.com slash urban dogs. You can check me out at moderndogtraining.com. It's always force-free. It's always applied behavior analysis. It's always working towards stress reduction. We don't use fear and pain. We don't blame dogs. We help them learn. We help them de-stress. So if you want to figure out how to do stuff the right way without fear and pain and blame and all that other nonsense, get a hold of me. I do consults for people all over the world. All right, train safe out there. And remember, force free every day, all day. Dog life. Look at your body, your body, and your soul.